Tuesday, 10th of August, 1943. Dear Kitty, new idea. I talk to my I talk more to myself than to the others at mealtimes, which is to be recommended for two reasons. Firstly, because everybody is happy if I don't chatter the whole time, and secondly, I needn't get annoyed about other people's opinions. I don't think my opinions are stupid, and the others do, so it is better to keep them to myself. I do just the same if I have to eat something that I simply can't stand. I put my plate in front of me, pretend that it is something delicious, look at it as little as possible, and before I know where I am, it is gone. When I get up in the morning, also a very unpleasant process, I jump out of bed thinking to myself, you'll be back in a second. Go to the window, take down the blackout, sniff at the crack of the window until I feel a bit of fresh air, and I'm awake. The bed is turned down as quickly as possible, and then the temptation is removed. Do you know what mummy calls this sort of thing? The art of living. That's an odd expression. For the last week, we've all been in a bit of a muddle about time because our dear and beloved Wester Torin Clock Bell has apparently been taken away for war purposes, so that neither by day nor night do we ever know the exact time. I still have some hope that they will think of a substitute, tin, copper, or some such thing, to remind the neighborhood of the clock. Dussel has indirectly endangered our lives. He actually let me bring a forbidden book for him, one which is abuses Mussolini and Hitler. On the way she happened to be run into by an SS car, she lost her temper, shard, shouted, miserable wretches, and rode on. It is better not to think of what might have happened if she had had to go to their headquarters. Yours, Anne. And it's from The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank.